Hey there, how you doing? Not doing so good? Having a tough time? Aw. Well, I got your back, don't you fucking worry, man. I happen to be a professional life coach. I manage lives. You call up right now with your problems. Guy problems. Girl problems. Mom problems, dad problems, sister problems, work problems. I don't do no lawyer shit. Call up, with, call up with some fucking problems. I'll listen to you, then I'll keep it one hundred. I got hold on, I got to clear my throat. Button doesn't work on this bitch. Uh, <clears throat> no, I guess the cough button doesn't work. <laughs> got a button that's supposed to you supposed to be able to hit it and then cough. Any problem, you call up right now. 888 742 3345. 888 742 3345. So, what would you do? It's coming up next. I'm gonna fucking help the shit out of you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. What would you do? You need advice? Call us up right now. 888 Shade 45. What would you do? Shade 45. What up, though? 888 is the number to dial. You got a problem? Talk to me. Lisa, what's your problem, dear? All right. So I've been dating a guy for two years on and off. You know, but he's that kind of guy that only comes around in the dark. Like, I've never been out on a day date with him. Mm. So I cut him off recently for about a month and a half. But, you know, he's always calling and saying, you know, are we going to get together? And, you know, I'm getting a little lonely and stuff like that. So I'm sitting up, like, accept his date. But I know it's a night date. I know it's a 9 o'clock date. And I know it's done by the next morning. And I was just getting tired of it. Your so booty call. Where I'm t- yeah. What, you, but he shows me a very nice time. He's a great dancer. We have a good time, but that's all it is. So you guys, you go so, out, you go, you go dancing. Look, man, if 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 you know that's what he's good for, and you need more than that, then you got to It's up to you to I, stop I can't fucking with him. It. I well, can't you can't find, find it because you busy. Long. You busy fucking his ass. There's you not guys, a need. Um, I just want to replace the dick. Honestly, I think I'm about to replace it. You know what I'm saying? And I think I just have to have sex with someone else just to do that. What do you think? I'm too far away to help you, Lisa. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love your voice. Take care. I think you'll be good. Just uh, you might have to, Sometimes you got to uh, let go of things before you can get other things. Yeah, well, he ain't trying to marry me, so. That's what I'm said, saying. So. But do I really want to be married? I don't know. I, don't know. I do. I want a partner. Yeah, you do. I so do. there you go. You just answered your own question. Hey, well, and maybe you can. Yeah. Yo, it's worth having talk. Be like, look, man, I'm. Th- this is not. This is not working for me. I want something more serious. And uh, yeah. And shit, you he might be like, fun, he though. might take you more seriously. Who the fuck knows? Hmm. Or he okay. might let you go. Um. Right. So they, gotcha. they, Nick in Virginia. Nick. Yo. What's going on? What's your problem? Well, like I was saying, me and my baby's mama, we got some issues going on with me being the paternal father to our child and everything, which she's saying she ain't, but I, I've been catching little sly remarks here and catching pictures here and everything of her and another dude. I ain't really ain't said nothing to her, but... I got a custody case coming up, and she done gave full custody to her mom and shit like that. She gave full custody of your kid to her mom? Yeah. How is that Just possible? Today. Well, if it, she says it's joint custody, but there is no joint custody in my area anymore. They they did away with that. Man, that's so fucked now, up. I'm having to wait till December to get a paternity test done, and then I'm still fighting DSS and everybody else, the court, and a lawyer on my own with no lawyer. So I'm basically my own lawyer here. You need to lawyer up. You need to get some money aside. Oh, I'm lawyering up on my own. I'm reading my books and I'm, I'm it's doing not everything enough. I'm supposed to do. No, you need a lawyer, bro. Well, I'm kind of. 
Bro. I, mean, I, I work hard every day, but, you know, everything I get, I'm putting towards the bills, I'm putting towards the baby, I'm putting towards food in the house, I'm putting, you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep a roof over our heads and over her head. So, but wait, like she's, staying with, she's staying with you, too? She's still living with me. Yeah, she's still living with me, man. That's how and she got man. a man? To, I think she got one on the side, but she ain't ready to admit it. I think she's in denial on herself. I think you're in denial. I ain't in denial. I'm ready to walk away. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't. I didn't threw my hands up twice, but every time I walk away and I go to work and I come home, she's still sitting on my damn couch after I drop her off at a mama's house. So you tell me how that shit works. And then if I and then if I put my hands on her, first thing happens is they call the law, and where she's 21, I'm 40 years old, and. They think I'm the battered, I'm the battered, battered old man, and she's just an innocent old little old girl. I'm the one that always ends up in jail, so I'm trying not to go to jail anymore. Yeah, man, it sounds like this is not the most productive relationship for you, there, champ. Oh, it's very toxic. It's so toxic. I'm, I stay. I feel like I'm drunk every day, but I'm not. And when they took that little girl away from me and told me I had to go on this little set plan and follow these rules and regulations. And when I did that, right, I still ain't had no visitation rights. Yes, yeah, because you got a penis. They deny me my visitations, but when she calls down there and says, I want to see my daughter, they'll drop what ain't important and say, okay, I'll be down there in about a uh, couple of hours. I'm it not- makes me think that they coincide with each other about how they're going to hurt me throughout the days. They do. Congratulations. But, but if I was to snap and go down there and screw some doors shut and screw some boards on some windows and put out a little bit of uh, napalm mix up and all that. I'm the one that's the bad guy. <laughs> but I ain't. Whoa, but God whoa. tells me to sit still. Tells yeah. me to sit still and not do that. Don't do a napalm mix, all right? Keep your head but, up. Get a fucking I, lawyer. I, you. That's it. You got a lawyer up, man. Uh, Alex in Oklahoma. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? What's your problem? All right, bro. Here's what's going down. Um, whenever I was born, the day I was born, um, my biological mom did not want me. So um, her aunt and uncle, which is my parents now, adopted me that day. Okay. Um, so I, I lived with them all throughout school you know my whole life till i turned 18 i moved out oh i'm doing God. good now i'm a superintendent i mean a supervisor in okay. construction uh she was in and out throughout my life you know she would show up and then say she wanted to be in my life and then uh she would take off again and you know she would only stay a couple weeks at a time and then you know at a certain point i learned who she was i decided that I wasn't going to let her in my life anymore, which was when I was about 15. And I haven't talked to her since. And here in the last year, she's been messaging me. And yesterday, actually, is whenever she really got on it and uh, told me she really wanted to be in my life. And I talked to my wife about it. I talked to my, my mom about it. And they haven't really given me any guidance. So I was hoping maybe you, you could... You can give her, yeah. Hey, you can give her one try, see if she's still an asshole. And she, if she's still an asshole, then fucking cut her off for good. I got two two kids now, so that has to be thrown into the mix. I'm married. What does that have to do? Just go talk to her on your own. Oh, you think I should? I I should go by myself and yeah, just go see what she's talking about. Hmm. It, look, it sounds like. You're entertaining this, so fucking go see what she's talking about. I mean, I I mean, there's half of me that's like fuck her, and then there's half of me that's like I have a heart uh, for family because of me being adopted into another family. So, um, you know, that's always going to be in me. But uh, I don't know. I gave you my answer, Nisha. Well, I have an ex who currently resides with me. Previously, um, the reason he's an ex is because on the day that I lost my father, he decided to put his hands on me physically and drag me by my hair. 
So at that moment, I ended things. I put him out. He went his way. And due to unforeseen circumstances, it brought him to the point of where he has to reside back with me. Why? Um, it was some other things about him, his the apartment that he was in. He was losing it. Um, there's potential crime things going on also. They don't have to deal with me, but it's on his hand. Why are you but, letting uh, him back in your life? He beat you up when your fucking dad died. Right. That sounds pretty fucking shitty. And now he's coming back to you like with weird crime shit going on. You're like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to let him live with me. I mean, we do have a child together, too. So it's like, even if I did try to oh, completely fuck separate. Me. Yeah, we got a child in the mix. All right. It will never be a forever yeah, throughout yeah, my yeah. life. I got it. I got it. So I, I because know. of the, the child situation, I'm trying to be a little lenient with it. It ain't no we together type stuff because that ain't happening. We not that. It's just uh, you claiming that you want to be together, you want to change, you done change, you not that, you not doing that. All that extra that I'm really not listening to. But it's just now that you reside with me, it's like I see it every day. I'm seeing you tell me this, and I don't believe it. I don't trust him at all. I have no trust for him. So, like, how do I proceed to, like, kind of get you away get a uh set a, set a time that he needs to be the fuck out of your house a and deadline then, yeah and then get him the fuck out of your house sit him down and be like look man this is like this ain't working for me you gotta be out of the house by this time all right that sounds what's up um jesus christ and my child adore him well yeah and don't shit on him to you know don't shit on him because that's half of her. So, right. So there you go. But uh, you got to do what's right for you too. And that's what I haven't been doing. Yeah, I mean, he beat you up when your fucking dad died. Same that, day. Shit. And what'd you do? Would you do? Would you? Put him out, like, would you do to deserve that ass whooping? Nothing. I just buried my my grandma. I had just buried my grandma, and the same day I was burying my dad's mom, they called and told me my dad died in jail. Damn. So, right. And then what? And it, I was literally putting his mama in the ground. She hadn't even got in the ground yet, and they called and told me my dad was dead. Well, he was at work, couldn't be there with the at the funeral with me. Uh. And when I did call and tell him that he didn't show up until like way, way late that evening, which is only an hour and a half drive from where he was located to me at that time. He didn't show up till hours later, and when you did show up, you was angry because I told you to leave, and you decided to put your hands on me. All right. There you go. Wow. Yeah. I told him I didn't. At that point in time, it was too late for you to even show up, so I didn't want you there. I hear you. You was upset. All right. Well, good luck with your abusive baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Mike in Allentown. Hey, how's it going, Jude? What's your problem? My problem is I've been with this girl for like 11 months and everything. We're super cool. We actually got engaged like two months ago. But the problem is she's super jealous because I have like a couple like exes that are kind of like stalkerish and be kind of like block them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's a given. But they're mad because they keep making fake names and DMing me and stuff like that. And they're jealous, but I'm not even, like, responding to it. And she wants to argue with them and everything. But I'm trying to tell them that don't even give them what they want because they just want that toxicity. They just want that toxicness of, like... Yeah, just keep, blocking them. Of just keep blocking them and keeping it to yourself because it sounds like it's triggering her ass. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'm trying to explain to her, you know what I mean, that... People like that, they want any kind of response. I hear you, but it sounds like your girl likes drama. So she's she's running up on that drama. Yeah, yeah. So. It could be because she's younger, too. I'm, she's 23, I'm 27 and everything. And so they're just, they just don't understand. You know, it's just it's too toxic to even give people like that the time of day or anything. I would give, this, uh, I would give this engagement a little time to breathe. Okay, I feel you. She doesn't sound like she's grown enough to 
being a All marriage. right, thanks a lot, dude. He's over here fucking arguing with your IG axes that you keep blocking. Like, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying, though. I'm not even. I'm not even paying mind to it. You know what I mean? I don't even respond to it. I'm I not, get it. I You're from know. Allentown. It's working class. But for fuck's sakes, Jesus Christ! Tell her to calm down. No, I feel you. Stop <laughs> acting like you. a fucking townie. I feel you, man. I don't even. Uh, I don't even like got time for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like, keep your head up. You got it, man. All right, I'm going to play a song. 888-742-3345. Uh, here, I'll play it on this side. Uh, 888-742-3345. Call up if you have a problem. It is what would you do? So, uh, what would you do? You got a problem? Call me up. Let's go to Lisa in Florida. Well, Lisa, what's up? Hi, Um, I'm calling because I'm now engaged as of two months. I've been with my fiancé for five years. The question that I have is we're having problems with his friends. So he has friends that he's been close to since they were like 10 years old. He's now 60 years old. And he goes out with them, but their partners, their, their wives, I don't get along with them because one is very dominant. And um, I just don't like that attitude, and I don't chase behind people. So she tries to control the conversations, what have you, and I'll just be more distant from her. He says that makes him uncomfortable, so he hasn't been inviting me to go to get-togethers with them over the past three years. I didn't know it Damn. until it blurted out when we got into argument. He's like, that's why I haven't been inviting you and just been telling them, you know, you weren't coming. So now I'm having second thoughts about getting married because I'm like, okay, because I don't kiss ass. You want to try to punish me, but I know this is important to him to hang out with his boys that he's known since, like, the 10th grade. They're very, very close, like brothers. So that's a problem I'm having. I, he said we could go to therapy, but he simply thinks, you know, if we do go, I need to pay for it. And I'm thinking I'm not paying for it because we should share the cost because we both are invested. What are your thoughts? It sounds to me like he he thinks that you're the problem. And that Yes. Which kind of says a lot, because usually the boyfriend rides with his girl, right? So maybe you are the problem. Yes, thank you. It's, no, well, you, it I might be you. I'm a, I'm a strong person. I'm very confident. You know, I, I'm very attractive. So, the, you know, I, my whole yeah. life I've dealt with women being jealous of me at oh, work, at awful. parties, things yeah. like that. But, you know, I don't go for it. I just ignore my, my business. He should have my back because he knows my heart. And he knows the things I've done for him, how I've supported his great aunt and and do things with her i'm really close with his immediate family Lise. so why are you judging me by these you know the wives of your friends what the hell it just sounds to me like you don't know how to get along with people just from that oh, sentence so now you're judging me too i'm just telling you from the sentence that you said the 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 things that you felt like you needed to tell me there was like I, four red flags in there. You're like, I'm attractive, and I did, 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 did. like, what the fuck does that got to do with anything? Because like, there are a lot of women out there. Like, I have women that I gel with right off. Yeah. Then you have women that got issues with you for no reason, and I'm nice to them. So yeah. my point is because I've been, you know. Yeah, it's, since, it's not you. It's yeah, not. I've been duped totally. so many times thinking a woman was my friend and right. then she's a backstabber. Mm. I'm real protective, but I'm a very loving person. My family does anything for me because um, oh. they know I'm always honest and I always have their back. It just takes a bit for me to feel, I have trust issues with women because of how I've been treated in high school, college, all of that. I think they're my friends, but then it turns out they're not. So... That's why. But I'm not a bad person. I'm not a mean person. Look, I'm not saying look I'm, for nobody. I'm not saying that you're a bad person or a mean person, but I'm just saying it sounds like perhaps you have a problem getting along with other women. And yeah, because I stated myself. Yes. I, yeah, true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the whole deal, but just from what you've told me, it sounds like you have a problem getting along with other women. So perhaps you are the and everybody else gets along except for your ass. So <laughs> he said that too. He huh. said that too. I just don't kiss ass. <laughs> well, you I don't. don't you don't have. You don't. You don't have to kiss ass. You don't have to kiss ass. But you can. You can also let certain shit slide. And like, look, well, man, true. you don't got to die on every fucking hill. Like, I, I go out. Like, this is the. Hey, man. Like, that's the thing. Uh, you end up hanging out with people you don't 
really know because of who your friends are fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't hang okay. out with these people on purpose. And there's been tons of times I just let shit fucking slide because okay. fuck it. And uh, so, okay. it sounds to me like sounds to me like you got to let some shit slide, learn how to pivot in conversations to shit that is less less agitating and uh and work on yeah. work on getting along with other people okay all right i can i can do that i can do that yeah that's hard for me to do because yeah. you know that is look okay. i i had the same problem and guess what i'm not invited to a lot of parties now so there you go like Right, and the people I'm close with, they're down for me. I really have close friends. Yeah, but you if, know, you wanna be, like if, a, if you want to be, if you want to be a part of your your husband's inner circle over there, you got to know how to get along with the motherfuckers. Yeah, I guess I'll try. She's just dominant as hell, all and right. her husband runs around chasing behind her like he's scared to death all he, the time. He's in panties. She might get mad at him. It's, yeah, look, he's in panties. What the, but what the fuck do you care? You don't got to fuck him. You fucking your man. And we'll end in Cincinnati. What's up, man? What's your problem? Miss? Sir? Cincinnati? Oh, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I can. So, um, I've been listening to you, like, today's the first time, and you're very impressive, very impressive young man. Thanks. But um, my problem is that I had my daughter when I was 16. Can you hear me? I got you, Black Diamond. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, so I had my daughter when I was 16. The guy was older, you know, and I lived in an area to where, you know, my mom, my aunt had passed away. My mom ended up moving out, and I was living in, like, a country city, and she ended up leaving. Everybody in the house left, so then I ended up talking to this guy to try to find my mom and ended up getting pregnant. Perfectly okay. fine. All I right. was praying for the Lord to give me someone anyway. So I had my daughter. The dude was a, a br- abusive, and all of that changed. So I broke up with him. Can we have one girl that doesn't get beat by her man today? Actually, actually, probably not. To be honest for with you, fuck's Dude, sakes! If, if they can't if they don't if they can't control you, then they just try to fight you. All right, so oh. so he so knocked you up, my, he beat you up, you left him. Now you got a kid. That's where we at yeah, now. Yeah, and and he and she, you know, I did everything for her. Went to school, graduated, did everything right, and I try to tell her, you know how to live and how not to be a negative person like him but she refuses she refuses to listen to me and she wants she likes how old is she she wants she is 19 now look man she's just gonna have to. and i paid for her i paid for her college i bought her a car and her dad won't do anything for her why you spoiling and i don't because because i didn't have all these things when i was younger and i feel like i'm working my ass off to make sure she gets what she wants but she clearly doesn't appreciate it. She don't even listen to you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And she and she uses every opportunity that she can to shit on me. Well, and it's sounds, just like, sounds like you're being a doormat. I, I would start subtracting things out of her life. <laughs> you know, I really want to. I really want to, but my mom did that, and then here I am. Yeah, look at you. You're working on your own. You're fucking, things were hard for you, but you made it. Right. And I don't know if your daughter's like, going to do that. She sounds like a spoiled brat. She won't. And my husband and I, we've been together for 18 years. I, I met my husband in high school. And he's Diff- been her, you know, Di- dad. Di- yeah. And she just, she just won't. And I'm like, do I cuss her out? Do I beat her ass? Do I f-? And then the thing of it is, is I'm Jamaican and Vietnamese. Her dad is black. I mean, her dad is white. So she thinks that everything that's wrong with her is because she's black. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is that all about? You know what I mean? Like, she loves to try to make it seem like I'm not doing anything for her, but he refuses to do anything. And I'm like, do I just leave her? But I'm like, that's my baby. She could end up like these. I'm in Cincinnati. And for me, Cincinnati girls just don't have any kind of drive or anything like that for themselves oh at all. And I'm like, don't be like a sensitive girl. Don't sit down and let these dudes run over you. I'm from New Jersey. Like, there's no way that I'm just going to sit here and let anybody do anything to you. Look, man, and you're she, spoiling she your child. That. You're sp- you're spoiling your child. <laughs> so what do I do? Stop spoiling her. It's cool to give but your they- child things, but, like, you don't get things without responsibility. 
but then my mom left me at home. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> To leave her, so just you're, leave her. You're fucking acting out weird shit that your mom did because, like, you're spoiling your kid because your mom wasn't nice to you. Yeah, you're ruining her. She sounds your your child sounds like an asshole, like an asshole nineteen year old, which is cool, but like technically she's an adult, so she's gonna be an asshole. Have her be an asshole on her own dime. I love you. You're awesome to fuck. Thank All right. you. Be well. <laughs> Have a great evening. Me Bye. Too. All right, that was uh, what would you do?